All right, so today I'll be showing you how to turn your Steam Deck into an internet uh, television, modern internet television. So first off, you want to reboot into desktop mode here. I've plugged the mouse and keyboard to make things easier. I'm going to open the web browser. Next, I want to type the following address, omega.gg, and press Enter. Then you want to click on Tivolution. Then get Tivolution. And you can start the download. So this is a self-contained uh, bundle of the application that you'll be able to run on your uh, SteamOS. So that should be convenient enough. Uh, I'll open the download folder right now. Uh, I've already downloaded it before, so it's there. I'm going to extract it. So you want to right click on the archive and click extract here. Okay, then you want to open the folder and check that you have the Tvolution binary here. If you double click on it and press execute, it should start right away, which is a good sign. But what we really want is start it and run it from uh, the, the Steam launcher itself. So we'll do that now. You run Steam and click on add a game, then add a non-Steam game. You want to click on browse, and here you're going to navigate to home slash deck. You scroll down, you click on download, and you'll find your newly extracted Tvolution folder. I've extracted it in, in download, but you could decide to extract it uh, somewhere else if you, if you want. You can click on it, and inside you'll only see the user folder, which is because you have a filter here applied, so you want to click on all files so that the Tvolution binary is revealed. Then you want to click on it and click Open. And then you'll see it checked here. What you want to do is click on Add Selected Program. So that should successfully add the program in your Steam library. And so if you search here, you should find it. Yeah, it's there. So what we want to do next is essentially close everything and return to gaming mode. If you want to update the binary later, you can re-download it again and extract it again at the same place and it should update the application. So now we're switching to the Steam uh, launcher here. Okay, here we are. Okay, so next you want to reach your, your menu, and here, as you can see, I have a new application. So it's quite abstract with the gray background, but that's actually Tvolution. So now I can run it and click on play. Okay, so that might not be the good one, actually. Yeah, here we go. So now Tvolution is running on your Steam Deck. So what you want to do next is make sure that it's running on the same Wi-Fi network than your cell phone. So you want to unlock your cell phone and reach to the Motion Monkey application. Uh, what you might want to do here is essentially scan it with your um, QR code scanner. So you do that and then open. So now I've opened a video tag and I'll be redirected in the Motion Monkey application, so I might want to download it. So here I'll open, I'll switch to Wi-Fi because uh, I haven't activated it. And next, I want to download it, install it on my cell phone, whether it's an Android phone or an iPhone, it should work on both, and then open it. From there, I want to swipe to the left and essentially open the camera. 
then scan this. And if everything goes right, you should see uh, a rainbow <laughs> scrolling on your Steam Deck. Next, I want to type uh, a, search, a search query here. Maybe music, for instance. Uh, I'll do that and open the first one. Here, as you can see, the track is mirrored on Steam Deck. I can scroll through the tracks. And once I find something I like, I'll run it. And this is how you turn your Steam Deck into a modern internet television that supports most of the popular backend of the moment, YouTube, Dailymotion, Twitch, Net, um, Vimeo, SoundCloud, and a bunch of others. And that's just the beginning because I'm currently working on, on even more advanced feature. So hopefully it will be useful for you. You can also run this in television mode via HDMI, via HDMI out if you, if you feel like it, which successfully turns your television into something new, your monitor into something new. So hopefully you find something, you, you find it interesting and useful for you. If you have any question, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching.